Hello, fellow lapidarians. Look what we have here. This is a giant chunk of petrified wood. A very special friend found this recently here in Central Texas. And she asked me if I could do something with it. Knowing how I like to shape and polish rocks, I said, well, sure. But I don't want to do a whole lot with it because I love the grain on this thing. Isn't that interesting? I know, I know, it's not colorful, not agatized, but just beautiful in its own way. You can really see the wood in this. But I thought, we can do something with it. I can stand it up. So I can, I can cut this bottom off here nice and flat so that we can stand this thing up, which I realize you can't see. <laughs> it gets out of my frame here, but use your imagination. So we can stand it up. And then I don't want to touch this side because this side is just really beautiful through here with this these waves of wood grain, but maybe put a slight polish back on this side, something. I was thinking maybe this surface here, which is pretty flat, I could just polish this one surface right here, or maybe all the way from here to here, and probably also put a polish on the bottom, but of course that'll be the base, so you won't see it. But that way, she can stand it up and see the beautiful wood pattern I wish I could show you this whole thing standing up in the frame of this, but you get the idea. Have that, and then on the back side, see a beautiful polished petrified wood. How do you think that would look? Let me go ahead and get that started in the shop. Maybe it will turn out beautiful. It'll look like something that belongs in a museum, or maybe I'll screw it up and it'll just look awful. We'll see. So let's get into the shop and get started. Well, the first step is to get the piece loaded in the vise. Get in there nice and tightly so it doesn't move. And then we move the carriage over just enough so we can cut off this little end section. Get a nice flat bottom to use as the base. This looks pretty good. Let's give it a whirl. All right, the cut's done. How did it turn out? Yeah, it looks about right. I think that we have a nice chunk to throw in the tumbler. Yeah, that's cool. How does the cut look? Let's see, let's pull it back. Yeah, okay, I like it, that's our base. Now, we have to get this thing mounted so that we can cut the long section off. And that's a big piece of wood. But as you can see, I got it in there. It's locked in nice and tightly. Move the carriage over to take off this, this edge here, make it nice and flat. Looks good, everything's ready to go. Let's get it fired up. How did it turn out? Okay. Well, it's still there. That's a good sign. It didn't fall out. It's always a big fear when you have a big piece mounted in there in some odd fashion. Held in place nicely and we got a good cut. Okay, I like that. Next thing we got to do is get this thing polished. So I'm going to get it out of here, get it cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to throw it on the vibratory flat lap. Yep, the vibratory flat lap. So. With this, we'll start with the 6090 grit and let this go for as long as it takes to make that nice and smooth on the bottom. Make sure there are no saw marks. Then I just step through all the different grits and, well, here are the results. Check it out, our little petrified wood art piece is all finished. I've extended my little tripod for my camera so that I can get this thing in the, in the frame, although from this angle, it's kind of odd looking. But as you can see, I, I got the polish finished. It didn't take a super high polish, but it's because of the wood itself. You can see that there are some soft sections that just did not take a really high polish. But you know what? That's okay. I think it's still beautiful. Look at the wood grain in there. Isn't that nice? And then of course the rest of it, all natural, just like it was when it fell all those millions of years ago. So we got the little base here. Yeah, this is not a particularly good angle, is it? <laughs> well, at least I tried. Stands up nicely. You got the, the natural side and you've got the little fancy polished side. What do you think? I like it, I think it turned out good. I can't wait to give this back to my special friend. Oh, and by the way, the other pieces you saw on the vibratory tumbler. Turned out a little bit nicer. Took a better shine as you can see. 
I just cut this one piece in half. We wanted to capture the, you can see the little chalcedony section in there, the agatization in the wood. But as you can see, it took a better shine. It has more silicas in it, I guess. Is that the right term? I think so. So it was harder and it took a nicer shine, both halves. Let's see if I can capture this one here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. That's the little project. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please be sure and check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.